Our topic today is know what you're managing. When taking on a new IT leadership role, establishing without ambiguity that which I'm responsible for and knowing the business perception about the IT team and department are my first actions. My first order of business is number one, to define the perimeter of my accountability and validate that perimeter with leadership, business units, and the IT team. And number two, to understand how the business perceives IT's role and their current perception of IT. Whether you're new or have been promoted from within, your path can be the same in defining the functions you're accountable for, and that should start by reviewing the job description in detail and discussing the position with interviewers during the interview hire process. Upon hire, it's a great idea to set up short meetings, interviews with leadership, business unit leaders, and IT management, and IT team members. Your goal being to listen to people throughout the organization and identify functions, processes, and handoffs that are occurring, and match that against what you know from the job description and business leadership's description of the role. Setting up short meetings, interviews with leadership throughout the organization, and your new IT team, is the best way I have found to quickly assess perceptions of the work IT is doing, to hear about the issues, and to begin to understand the culture. In these interviews, you should get leadership's thoughts on the perimeter of your accountability, though it might seem self-evident and you should begin to identify what your team is currently working on and supporting. Listen in particular to what business leaders think about IT support and contribution. As mentioned, the goal is to clearly define what you're managing and to find gaps in IT support, systems, and services. An example where there might be ambiguity in what you're managing is business continuity. First question I usually have about DRBC is how much of the business continuity is owned by IT. I have been in IT departments where IT owns it all, and I've been in IT departments where IT holds only certain pieces of the DRBC program. Another example is analytics. Are analytics just in IT or seeded throughout the company? And if they are throughout the company, who is doing what and who is responsible for what? Another thing you will want to identify is if any business units are performing IT-related functions that maybe would live better under IT. It's worth a conversation with the business to determine appropriate segregation of duties and ensuring that critical processes are appropriately maintained and monitored. Your interviews will likely point out other things that you will need to address too, such as legacy systems impact on internal departments and on competitive stance, or lack of strategic planning. At this point, you should have identified a 10,000 foot view of what you're managing. But the real goal of this exercise in defining what you're managing is gaining clarity on the details of your accountability. Finding analytics, reporting, batch processing, EDI, and other area gaps and overlaps, where responsibility may be blurred between IT and another department. And you may have identified orphaned, unaccounted for processes. The interviews will also provide the insights you need to develop your SWOT, your list of IT strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. 
Several more episodes will be posted over the next few weeks to my YouTube channel, The Saito Mentor. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when those episodes are posted. And if you feel this information is helpful, please hit the like button too. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the series and it aids you on your career path.